Uh, okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a another play view. Today we're going to be playing something from my overwhelming <laughs> itch back catalog. Today we're going to be playing Troll. Now, again, as usual, I have never played this before. Uh, as the game says, all I know about it is Troll the Sea and record your findings. So, that's about as much as I know. So, yeah, we're going to just jump straight in. Okay. So... Immediately we're getting one of the... Ah, uh, what's the engine? Is it Unreal? Where you get sort of the cell shaded aesthetic on the game. Visuals are okay. Lighting is okay. We... Oh, okay. Uh... So I'm guessing I need to leave that down, and then... Can we go downstairs? We can. We got a nice little... a little typewriter. Oh, okay. Okay. It's kind of cool. <laughs> That's fun. I can have a drink if I want to. Or not. I guess not. I guess I'm, it's not the time. I've only just I've only just started my day. I gotta save my drinking for later. I got a little radio. Or not. Okay. So, how am I supposed to know when I've found something? Oh, I can hear something. Oh. What is that? Okay. What the f fuck? Oh, it's ringing. It's ringing. Okay. That's... That's eerie. Okay. So we found something. What's it gonna be? What do we got? Ooh, controls are a little bit... There we go. Oh, I found a hatchet. Right click to examine the item. Okay. So, I guess we go downstairs. Do we have some... Aha! Hold left click to change the placement. I guess we will put him... Okay. We'll, we'll put you there. Okay. I found... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I found a hatchet. Oh god. I'm gonna be really typoing this. I found a hatchet. Yay. Okay, let's continue on. I found a hatchet. Alright. So, back in the water you go. Oh, that way.
Okay. Are we now going to be greeted by more spooky... Sp spookiness? Oh. There we go. That is... That is extremely eerie. Oh, there's something over there I can... There we go. Let's, let's go up here. There's something else here. What's this about? Oh, drop your anchor to end your search. Okay. I don't want that right now. Okay. What did we find? It's... it looks like a boot. I found a shoe. Yep. I found a shoe. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'll put it downstairs with the... with the hatchet. There we go. I found a shoe. Oh no. Shoe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Scratch that. I can't type. Oh dear god. I found a fucking shoe. There we go. Right. So, I want to know if this is the kind of game where I'm literally just... Is this all I'm doing? Is there a, a you know, a, a bigger purpose to this? Or am I literally just trawling and picking up garbage? Because again, like the majority of these, I've never played the game. I don't have any... Oh, there we go. See, this sounds really eerie. I feel like this is meant to be indicative of, you know, am I going to stumble across some Lovecraftian horror shit? Oh, my bell's ringing. Because to me, this seems like the sort of, like, I'm going to pick something up that's all spooky and weird and, and that's where the game is going to actually do something. I might be wrong, of course, but I was going to say, if that's another goddamn shoe, <laughs> I found a hip flask. Okay. Can I use it on... I guess not. We'll put you there. I found the solution to my drinking... <sighs> drinking problem. I am going to drink more. Right, let's go back. Oh yeah, I need to... There we go. So, I mean, again, overall, I think the presentation is okay. It's obviously doing what it can to work with a limited palette. Like, you can't really see anything, if we're being honest. It's it's very... There is a shroud of nothingness around the player character. And I don't think the asset itself is... Oh, the radio's fucked. Oh... Okay. Is this where we start finding something that's a bit more interesting? There's something there. I can hear, I can hear clicking. Yeah, there. 
I'm I'm just just trolling around. So why did my radio break? That's interesting. Seems to be about there, I think. Unless we we just go around in circles. I'm curious as to what the point of this is. Are we going to hit one of those, we're going to need a bigger boat situations? My, my things are lighting up. I'm not sure... Is that of significance? I don't, I don't seem to be getting anything anymore. The water effects are a bit ropey, but, you know, indie game, shoestring budget, probably made by one person being itch. I'm just not finding anything now. I'm hearing that clicking, but I don't... I don't really know what it's trying to tell me, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's... should we drop anchor? Is that wiser? Should we drop anchor and... Drop the anchor to end your search. Oh, is that it? Okay? Okay, so... I had a look into it to try and understand what the developers were kind of hoping for from me, and... This is kind of it, so... I'm gonna, you know, let's say hypothetically you write a bunch of stuff here. Escape, right? So, we put this in the bottle. Take this. And that's the game. So, I don't know. I, I think, from what I was reading, the whole concept of the game is, you know, you are trawling the sea to find things to write about and maybe use that as a form of writing inspiration. And in concept, I don't think that's a terrible idea. It's actually kind of, it's actually kind of sweet. But at the same time, I don't feel like I've gotten much out of this. As somebody who likes to write creative writing and who's someone someone who would love to get something published one day. I don't feel like that gave me the sense of inspiration and the sense of... It's kind of atmospheric, I'll give it that. I just think the game's format... And I know some people are probably going to tell me, look, not everything needs to be a horror game, and it absolutely doesn't. But to me, this format, it feels like it could be a version of Iron Lung. It feels like it could be, you know, as you're trawling along, you start finding more and more things that maybe present a more unsettling, more suspenseful atmosphere. Because, you know, it's just you alone on a dinky boat. That, to me, gives an impression that you could easily turn into a horror game if you wanted to. It's up to the developers what they want to make, and I appreciate that they wanted to make something that maybe inspired a bit of creativity in the player. I think that's actually quite admirable, but I don't think speaking as one of those people that it's probably directed at, I don't feel like I got that out of it. But for the right person, for the right person I feel like this could be quite a fulfilling experience. It has a relatively positive reception. But, I don't know, it doesn't click with me. It's not the sort of thing that I think I'm ever going to come back and play again. So, I'm going to leave it here. 
make of it what you will. I don't think personally I got a lot out of it, but for the right person, you know, who knows. As always, I'd like to thank my wonderful top Patreon supporters, Game Master, Dark Raptor 86, BFD Survivor, and Shikotsky. Thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.